Today, I will help you to learn more about Good Documentation Practices or GDP. Hello, my name is Monir Lazuzi and I am a medical device expert specialized in quality and regulatory affairs. And today, we will talk about GDP or Good Documentation Practices. But what is Good Documentation Practices? Good documentation practices are best practices for documentation and record keeping. Its objective is to maintain data integrity for important documentation and records. And it can also serve as a guideline for how to record information and store data appropriately. Examples of information that should be kept in order are legal documents, like certificate, ISO 13485 or CE certificates, business records, audit statements, and company policies. Other documents are customer information, like patient, personal data, contact numbers, email addresses, and transaction histories. You have also procedural documents, like standard operating procedures, SOPs, or work instructions and training documents that are part of your quality management system. You have also all the evidences of compliance that you need to have to prove that you are compliant to the standard operating procedures or that the processes that you are running are compliant to the regulation and to the standards. The last kind of documents that you have also to keep are like the testing or analysis document that are proving that your the quality of your product was checked and is compliant also. Why you should care about good documentation practices? The purpose of good documentation practices is to ensure that businesses and organizations have good data or data that is attributable, legible, contemporaneous, original, and accurate. And here we are using the acronym ALCOA. And we'll look at that just, uh, just now. So what is the ALCOA principle? The ALCOA principle is the uh, letters then A-L-C-O-A -A, and we'll start with the first letter. So the first letter A is for attributable. So attributable means that you know where the data came from, who recorded it, how to apply those principles for attributable. So each document must have an author, it should be easy to trace information to its source through ideally the author or the person who recorded the data. That should be immediately identifiable in the document. Each document must have its author's signature. This is to verify that the person identified as the author in the document is the one who recorded the data. There should be no shared password or shared data system logins also. This is to make data entry tracking easier. So for example, similarly, no one should be allowed to sign for someone else. The person who recorded the data must be the one who signed the document. Now, the second letter is L and it is for legible. Legible means that the data is easily readable and understandable. How to apply this principle? So mainly you try to avoid handwriting documentation. As much as possible, data should be recorded in an electronic document or using a computerized system. Information should never be vague or ambiguous. So what does it mean? It means that mainly you are providing explanation for complex information when possible. Always state the context, the nature, and the purpose of the data. Information should also flow logically and be organized in such a way that it is easy to make sense of the data or mentally process it. Okay, the next letter is the letter C, which means contemporaneous. Contemporaneous means that data is current, applicable at the time of its access, and recorded in a real time, no delay between the data generation and the data recording. For that, the document should always be kept up to date, reflect the latest version and contain the most recent data and information. Documents should have the following dates, for example, the date of creation, the date of recording, the date of revision, the date of correction, 
the effective date by the date of review and all those dates must be accurate. No predating, so documented that are dated before the actual date and no post dating, which are documented that are dated after the actual date. So all the signatures must be dated and or there should be a timestamp. The next letter is the letter O for original. Original means that the data, once recorded, cannot be edited, altered or erased. How to apply this principle? Though the data cannot be edited, any errors in the data can be corrected, provided that the person who recorded the data is the one correcting the error. Corrections can only be done when all of the documents stakeholders have been informed and the quality assurance lead has given the correction a go signal. When correcting an error, do not block or erase the error. If the document is handwritten, cross out the error so that it is still legible. If data was recorded electronically, add a comment stating the error in the data and its corrected form. Each correction must be signed and dated by the one who performed the correction, which should also be the person who recorded the data containing the error. Access to data should be limited to authorized person. So the last letter is the letter A for accurate. Accurate means that data can be relied upon to be true, valid and correct. To apply this principle, there should be a documented reason for each corrected error. It should be specified the exact error, why it had to be corrected and why the correction made is suitable. All data should be reviewed, checked or validated by someone other than the person who recorded the data and who has the right knowledge and skills to do so. Each review, check or validation of data should be signed and dated by the reviewer. Any issues with the validity or truthfulness of data must be investigated further. So establish strict protocols, data security measures and other types of precautions against the intentional falsification of data by either internal or external agents. I hope you are now ready to apply the Alcoa principle within your documentations. Don't hesitate to check more videos that will help you stay compliant. Easy Medical Device is a consulting firm and can help you for any quality and regulatory activities for medical devices. So don't hesitate to visit our website easymedicaldevice.com.